OK, let's give you guys some more practice. So integrate this by substitution. This, by the way, is very difficult to do. You will struggle in this. Um, if, if you were just to sit here and, and just watch a video, it would be obvious. But if, if you were to try and do it for yourself, it, it, would be it would be very difficult because you would not have to make the substitution. And by the way, this you, you would have to make a substitution within a substitution. This is actually quite difficult. But um, try and have a go for yourself. It, it is really tough. Okay, so press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, let u be this. Okay, so, so let u be this. And it's, it's a lot of trial and error. If you were to do this, how would you know that you should make this um, to be your, your substitution? Um, it, it, is, it is through trial and error. So uh, play around. Okay, so, so let, let u equals this thing here. If u equals this thing here, then blah, 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 dx equals this thing here. So now we can put this into here, and then we can put the u into here. So, uh, so this whole thing here will become, will become this. Okay, so, so um, we, we are now integrating with respect to u. Um, so we need a way of getting rid of, um, of the x, uh, or, or getting rid of uh, all the x's. So um, one way of doing this would be to um, to do this. So so this is uh, a constant here, one over three. So it's a constant. So take it out here, and then um, and then so 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 now vi visualize this thing as this. So um, so now you, we, we, we've just got to find a way of somehow dealing with um, with, with the axis. So visualize the whole thing as this, and now. Um, and now, now, uh, now visualize this as uh, the square root of x to the power of four, because the square root of x to the power of four is x squared. So rewrite this as this. Okay. So um, yeah, rewrite this as this, and then you, we we can visualize uh, this as uh, as square rooting this and square rooting this. We can visualize it as this. Okay. So now top times top, bottom times bottom. So that will be that will be this, and then now we. So now you've got one block multiplying another block. So you can actually merge the two together. So that becomes um, that becomes x to the power of fifteen. Okay, and once it's x to the power of fifteen, um, visualize it as one block multiplying another block multiplying another block here. Okay, and then break this up so it becomes one block multiplying another block multiplying another block. Well, this thing here is really, it's really x to the power of three. Uh, this is x to the power of three because uh, because x to the power of three times x to the power of three that would be x to the power of six. So so the square root of x to the x to the power of six is really x to the power of three. Okay, so that would then give you this, and then uh, and then now that would then give you this. But don't forget we uh, we made u. Uh, we we set uh, at the start we said let u equals this thing here. So rearrange it. So add three to both sides. So so x to the power of three equals this thing here. So now we can put it into here and into here okay. and into here. Okay. So that will then take you to here. And then now tidy this up. That will then take you to here. Okay. And then um, and then looking. So once you are here, you really have to stare, stare at it. And um, well, sorry. Once you are here, visualize this thing here as as this thing multiplying a u. Okay. Now, it, um, how is it that we know that we should visualize it like this? It's through trial and error. So you have to spend hours on on this problem, and then you, uh, and then you, and then you can. You, you you can navigate your way towards this, so it it is just through trial and error. So uh, so visualize this as this times this, and notice that looking at this and looking at this here, um, uh, if you have one over uh, a bubble here, if you if you differentiate this, it will be negative one over um, something some. If you differentiate something like this, it will give you something like this. Well, look at this here. This is like um, 
this is like this. Uh, it's like you differentiating 1 over x. If you differentiate 1 over x, you would get negative 1 over x squared. Well, this is like your, th this here is a bit like this, and this x squared here is a bit like this with a squared. So, so hopefully, well, it's through trial and error that you should see, th this is actually the hard part, it's through trial and error that you can see that you should make v as this. So now let v equals this. So visualize this thing here as this, uh, differentiate it, so dv equals this thing here, rearrange it so that, um, uh, so that well, this here we, we can now visualize as this, rearrange it so now du equals this thing here. So now we can substitute back into this thing here, okay, back into, uh, back into this thing here, because, um, because we, we can now see that this here will be v, and we can see that the u here is uh, is this thing here. So uh, so let's let's substitute everything. Uh, let's substitute this back into back into here, and substitute the v into here. Uh, okay. So so uh, that will then take us to here. That will then take us to here. And then now uh, and and then now things would things would tidy itself up. So, so this thing here will, um, will cancel out with, with well, this, th these two will, get, will actually simplify to give you, well, the whole thing here will simplify to this. Okay? And then, uh, and then look at, looking at this, remember that V equals this. We, at one point we said let V equals this. Well, if V equals this, then you can rearrange it so that you, you, you see, when you are here, at the moment you are integrating with respect to v, but there's a u lingering around. So use this to rearrange it and then express the u in terms of v. So basically starting it with this, rearrange it, uh, blah, 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 that will then take you to here. And now u, now u equals this thing here. So we can now put this thing here back into Back into this uh, this U here, back into this U here. So uh, so this whole thing here will become this. Will become this. Okay. So now uh, visualize visualize this thing here. Visualize the square root as this. Now all we have to do is is integrate. So how how would we how would we integrate this? Sorry. How would would how would we integrate this? So to integrate this, we would we would um, we would make an initial guess. Let's make this to be our initial guess. If you differentiate this, it will give you this. Okay, but but then um, but then so so here you've got negative um, negative uh, nine over two. So somehow negate negate the uh, the negative nine over two. So make the adjustment to your initial guess here. So that will be uh, that will be negative uh, what, what was it uh, two over nine. Uh, and then if you differentiate this, then it will give you this thing here. Well, somehow integrate this. If you integrate this, it will give you, it will give you this. Okay, so, so this is us negating this, uh, this and this here. Okay, well, anyway, hang on. So, uh, so when you are here, uh, integrate, integrate this, and then it will give you, it will give you, uh, it will give you this. Okay, plus the constant, uh, and then tidy it up. Um, uh, tidy it up. That will then give you this. But remember, we, earlier we said v. Earlier we said v equals this thing here. So we can now put this back into here. So that will then take us to to uh, to here. Okay, because um, because here you've got a three times v. Well, three times v is, it will be this. So that's this thing here. And then earlier we said uh, let earlier we said let u equals this thing here. Well, if u equals this thing here, then we can now put this back into the u. So that would then give you that would then give you this. Okay. So overall, the answer would be this. So now let's let's double check everything. So let's double check everything by differentiating our answer. Okay. So so if you differentiate this, it will give you this. Uh, differentiate this, so so this multiply with this, that will then give you this, and then the power itself here gets minus by one.
So that would then give you this. Uh, and then you've got it times over the, the, uh, the derivative of the bubble itself. Well, visualize this bit here as, uh, as negative 3x to the power of minus 3. So when you differentiate this, it will give you, posi uh, it will give you positive 9. And then the power itself gets minus by 1. So anyway, do whatever you want. Uh, if you differentiate this, it will give you this thing here. And then, um, and then, uh, and then, I think, and then they, uh, they, uh, and then, and then, and then this thing here will become this thing here, and then blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 overall the answer, it will give you this, and overall it will give you this, which was what we had right from the start, okay?